Let us solve another problem on this CNF, Chomsky normal form. To have the detailing, to have the process, what are the steps and all, please watch our previous videos where we have explained the algorithm and the steps into details. So, here we are just solving this problem and the steps are already written here and we will be following this step 1, 2, 3, 4 and in this way we are solving this particular problem given. Okay. Now, we are having this reduce the following grammar to CNF that given G is the production rules are given. So, let me solve it. So, my production rules are S produces A A. The first step is to check whether any null productions or unit productions are present there or not. I am not finding a single unit production, I am not finding a single null produ production here. So, that means it is null production and unit production free. So, step 1 is completed. Otherwise, we shall have to execute the respective algorithms to eliminate null and unit productions. Okay, that is the step 1. Step 2, are you finding any production in this uh, given in this G which is in accordance with the CNF? Yes, we are finding. What are they? They are nothing but A produces small a and B produces small b. We know that in case of Chomsky normal form, all the productions will be either in the form non-terminal produces terminal or in the form non-terminal produces non-terminal non-terminal. Okay, so, I have done it. So, they will be in the final grammar. Okay, now, next we are going for our step 2 second part. If you consider S produces A, A, B, C, B, B and here we are having two terminals. So, I am going to include two new production rules with two new symbols. So, these two new symbols we have introduced, symbols means non-terminals here. So, C A produces A and C B produces B. So, they will be also going to the final CNF uh, grammar. So, now this particular S can be written as, okay, it can be written as this. Next, we are going for that A produces A A. A produces A A can be written as a produces C A A and it is, it is also in accordance with the Chomsky's normal form. Why? Non-terminal produces non-terminal non-terminal. Already you have written C A produces A. So, it will be also in the Chomsky's normal form, okay, in the final grammar. Next one, it is already considered, it is already considered, it is also considered this one. So, B produces B B can be written as B produces C B B and it is also in the Chomsky's normal form. Why? Because non-terminal produces non-terminal non-terminal. So, it is also in the Chomsky's normal form. So, only one this particular S produces C A A C B B it is not in the Chomsky's normal form and what about the rest we have done we have done the respective considerations. Okay, now see. So, now I am going for step 3. So, S produces C A C 1. So, rest part will be C 1 will produce that one. So, it is in the Chomsky's normal form. But for this one, we can write. So, C 1 produces C A 2. It is in the Chomsky's normal form. And C 2 produces C B B. So, it is also in the Chomsky's normal form. So, here all the tick mark production rules they are coming in the Chomsky's normal form. So, now let me define the grammar now. So, let the grammar be say, say G1 and here we are having this Vn Vtps. So, I am remaining with Vn. Let me consider the production rules which will be included there. So, that is the total solution we are having. So, what is this? This is nothing but Vn. Vn means set up non terminals. So, A, B and S they were initially already there in my source grammar G and we have included this C A C B here and we had this C 1 C 2 here. We had this C 1 and C 2. So, these are the non terminals and in the production in the terminals we had this sigma and here also we are having the sigma and sigma is not getting changed. So, everyone is we are having sigma there is no 
place of any kind of sigma dash. So, we are having A and B because we are not going to in introduce any kind of new terminals. So, A and B will be there and these are the set of production rules from here. A produces A, B produces B, a written, C A produces A, C B produces B, a written, A produces C A A, B produces C B B, I have written and 1, 2, 3, another 3 productions are there, I have written all of them and it is working fine. So, in this way, not this one, only the tick mark, only the red tick mark. So, 1, 2, 3. So, this is my the S produces C A C 1 and C 1 A C 2 and C2 produces CB, uh, CBB. So, in this way, whatever the tick mark we have put and those productions we have written and that is my final S. And here also you can check, check that what are the terminals and non-terminals we have used in our production rules. So, if such question comes, you should do the rough work very carefully and please follow these steps 1, 2, 3, 4. For the detailing, please watch our previous video so that uh, this question should can be answered properly in your exams. And Thanks for watching this video.